Greetings all, I'm Dr. Zatora Woodley. I am your instructor this semester for African American Studies. Welcome to the course. This week I wanted to go ahead and get you started with a brief, a quick little mini lecture to get you started for the videos and the readings you'll be doing this week. So first of all, uh, what is Afro American Studies? Uh, for, during the course of this semester I'll be using the terms Afro American, Black, and African American interchangeably. In your textbook, you'll get a chance to read about how they are those terms are used differently, have different um, meanings to them. For the purposes of this course, I'll use them interchangeably. So Afro-American Afro studies is an academic field and it combines uh, history, academic scholarship within the social sciences, the humanities, uh, and radical movements for fundamental educational reform. Now that's directly from your textbook reading. So African American Studies basically is an interdisciplinary study of the experiences of those people who identify themselves as Black Americans, African Americans, Afro Americans, people of African descent in the Americas. Um, a couple of key terms that you'll hear me talking about throughout the semester um, and that you'll read about first are the terms Black, Afro-American, and African-American. Remember, for the purposes of this class, I'll use them interchangeably, uh, both in my mini lectures as well as some of the course content and on the exams as well. African diaspora, whenever you hear me referring to the diaspora, I'm talking about Black people of African descent that span the globe. So African diaspora can be uh, black peoples in Africa, in the Americas, um, it, uh, in Northern America, Central America, um, and South America. So as I'm speaking about African diaspora, I really am speaking more globally rather than just uh, to the locale of the United States. Afrocentricity. Uh, Malithi Asante coined the phrase Afrocentricity, and it means a frame of reference wherein phenomena are viewed from the perspective of African people. So when you hear me talk about Afrocentricity or Afro, something being Afrocentric, it means that it's centered within the experience. It uh, puts African people at the, center, at the center of analysis versus uh, Eurocentricity which puts Europeans at the center. So in order to understand African American studies, we must first understand the roots of Africology um, and Afrocentricity. And this is just a, a quote that comes directly from um, my dissertation, my doctoral dissertation. Um, Afrocology or Afrocentricity is a theoretical and cultural framework rooted in social, political, historical, and educational struggles. So um, we're talking specifically about those struggles as they regard the oppression and liberation of black people throughout the, the African diaspora. So Afro, Afrocentricity, sorry, Africology and Afrocentricity really are at the roots of what we know to be modern day African American studies. So um, we need to understand for ourselves that we are African by nature and American by nurture. So when we talk about um, the use of the term, and you'll read about this in your readings this week, um, how we came to use the term African American, it really was from a space of understanding that at the root of who we are as a people, we are rooted in an African history. Um, so we are naturally by African, um, an American by the place in which we were raised and nurtured. Um, so when we look at the history of our ancestors, those of us who identify as African American or Black American, um, we really do reach back and say our history did not begin in the United States. It did not begin in, in the Americas. Our history uh, began in Africa. Um, yet uh, we are raised here. We are um, nurtured here. America is also part of who we are. So um, during the course of the semester, we'll spend a lot of time talking 
about um, the African roots that led to the experience of blacks here in America. So during the course of the semester, we'll get a chance to focus on and look at history, we'll look at education, um, black culture, language, politics, social movements, identity, gender, race, class, religion. We'll just look at um, the experience of blacks and the history of blacks and the contributions made by blacks across the disciplinary spectrum. All right, so that's just a quick, like I said, a brief mini lecture, less than six minutes. Um, as always, if you have questions about your readings, you can always send me an email or post them in Ask Dr. X. But this week, enjoy your readings and also the videos I have for you in the learning module.